Ninja Warrior Z here with an action figure review. And today I'm going to be reviewing SH Figure Hearts Bruce Lee. I have been waiting for this guy for months now. And he finally came. I got him from Amazon for about $54. Man, man, this thing just looks sweet. So before I take every. Oh, well. Oops. <laughs> uh, okay. Hold on. There we go. Before I take everything out of the package, let's just get a good look at the figure, man. I've been waiting so long for this thing. But check it out, man. This this thing looks sweet just standing there, man. Definitely worth the wait. Uh, all right, so let's see. What do you want to do? Let's just go over the articulation and everything first. All right, so he's... He's similar to the other SH Figure Hearts figures in terms of posability. He's got his legs go forward and backwards. They go outside from side, side to side. His knees bend all the way back. He's got an angle rocker, um, toe articulation. His shoulders move around, shoulder, perfect shoulder rotation. Even his bicep, he's got a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. Completely rotatable wrist, bendable torso, rotatable torso, and a movable head and neck. The neck is a little tricky, but it does in fact move around. <laughs> yep, this guy's he's pretty damn posable. I, I really love the articulation this guy has. And he's incredibly well balanced. It, he's, I mean, look how easy it is to stand. I saw Let me see. I saw that Wow, there it is. Yep, you so balanced he can stand on one leg and kick. And I, you can't tell me that they didn't do that on purpose, so you couldn't capture the signature Bruce Lee kicking pose. Yeah, man, that just looks epic. Yeah, he's a he's a great figure. Look, the paint job on him is really nice. I I don't even. Yeah, I don't even think that mine has a scratch on it. Some, I've seen a few that people got had a few scratches here and there, but. And this one seems like he just came out great, man. There's nothing wrong with it. And his pants are dark grayish or almost almost dark blue. They look real nice. And uh, he's got some shading all over him. Over his skin. Man, look at and look how realistic the face is. Will that will the camera zoom? There it is. Yeah, now it's focusing. Check that out, man. That, dude, that's freaky. Yeah, that's freaky realistic. All right, so now we're gonna go over his accessories. Now, the things that fell out early in the beginning of the episode, of the, the video, are his faces. So, we've got a face where he's just charging up a super devastating attack. We have the crazy eyes face where, um, if you guys saw um, Enter the Dragon where he stomps on Bo and basically kills him. And it looks like this is his nunchuck face when he's holding out both of his nunchucks. Yep, so that's for that. So that's what we got as far as head pieces go. Next we're gonna go over, let me, oh there it is, pull this out. All right. We're gonna go over his hands and weapons. So this one comes with more weapons than the Figma. And I'm actually gonna bring the Figma one up. A few. So he's got his nunchucks. These are awesome. They, they spin, they have a real chain and everything. A bow staff. Which is basically just a thin piece of plastic. It feels a little delicate, so I'd be a little bit careful with it. These badass, it's screaming sticks. Just like from Enter the Dragon. And he's got a whole, a whole host of hands. He's got these martial arts hands here. Some grabby palm hands. The weapon holding hands. The little holes in them. Straight, almost like, yep, he's got some palm heel hands. Palm strikes. It almost looks like a thumbs up. This hand does. Yeah, that's really cool. And 
that's pretty much it for his hands. Everything looks really super detailed. I'm going to put that back. All right. And now I'm bringing up the Figma Bruce Lee. Now, you guys have already seen me use this guy in a video, but we're going to finally get to see these two side by side. And I have to say, these both of them are outstanding figures. They're roughly the same height, which is, I'm actually surprised because I thought the SH Figure Arts one was going to be better. I mean, bigger. But they're pretty much the exact same heart height. Actually, I think that SH Figure Hearts will maybe a little bit smaller. This is my first time seeing them side by side, so that's that's pretty. Wow, yeah. That, oops, the Figma one's actually bigger than the SH Figure Hearts one. Now, a lot of people have been comparing the two, so I'm gonna do a quick comparison. Here's the accessories. Um, this guy has pretty similar articulation as far as the torso goes. Um, now, obviously, they look completely different. That one's got a much bigger torso, but it's also more realistically sculpted, in my opinion. And they both look like Bruce Lee, honestly. So, it, I can't really say which one looks better. It just all comes down to personal taste. But this one, the obvious problem with this one is the arms. Especially when trying to pose for punching that, well, no, the arm articulation is pretty much the same. This one is slightly greater though. We're punching out to the side. Yep, the arms just work better on the figure hearts because it's got the little shoulder swivel thingy right here. Uh, leg articulation is pretty much the same. This one can actually kick further out, but it's got that weird looking diaper thing going on. But, you know, it looks, it, you can kick better. So, you know, it just depends on if you're willing to sacrifice the looks for functionality. To me, it doesn't really look bad either way. So, that's why I got them both. Um, this one has toe articulation, that one doesn't. And they both bend at the knee. They're almost similar figures in a lot of ways, except for their looks. They're completely different. Well, completely different looking figures. I mean, if I had to pick one, you know, I really can't can't pick one. They both, yeah, they just both look too badass to choose. Um, yeah. Well, tell me what you guys think. Which one do you like more? Because I personally, I, I like the both of them, honestly. I mean, I can say that this one from a technical standpoint is the superior action figure as far as functionality goes but I almost like the body and sculpt of this one a little bit more because it's a little bit more realistic and it looks really good when it's posed I mean the lighting just went bad hold on yep this, the lighting alright yeah, if I had to choose between one, this one, I like that one more in terms of looks and posing around. I like this one more in terms of functionality. So to me, that one's a better action figure, but this one is a better display piece. Um, some people I know are gonna disagree with that, but that's just my opinion. And as far as accessories go, the SH Figure Hearts one is superior. Only slightly though, because this one, comes with two pairs of nunchucks and only two face yeah this one comes with only two extra faces that one comes with three and it comes they both come with pretty much the same hand same amount of hands it really just comes down to weapons that one has two nunchucks that one has screaming sticks a staff and nunchucks so it all depends on like i like the dual wielding nunchuck thing so to me the accessories aren't really game changer or anything like that so next we're gonna just do a size comparison and next to sh figure hearts goku they scale up actually that's pretty realistic because goku is about five nine bruce lee i heard was about five six or five five depending on what sources you read some say we're shorter than that some say he was taller 
But yeah, they look they look pretty much in scale with it, with each other. That looks really nice. These are really, really, really nice figures, guys. I definitely recommend picking them up. Yep. All right, guys, and that pretty much covers everything. If you have any questions about the figures, just ask me in the comments. And thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys later. Saint Ninja Warriors Z out.